Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. I am your host, Wade Rush. Welcome. Glad you could come ride along with me. Today, I'm going to be putting together some of that 32 caliber that we just molded up, and we're going to put together a few rounds that are field tested over the years and have been a great performer. Y'all stand by. Well, fellas, I'm going to try to hover around what you got and what you can get, uh, what has been available here lately. The uh, duck blind holes, you should be able to get your hands on some. A lot of duck hunting going on right now. Get up with the folks with Ducks Unlimited or your local chapters of Ducks Unlimited and see about getting your hands on the holes that come out of the duck blinds. You're going to see loads of three inch and three and a half coming out of the duck blinds and the steel loads. And they load up nicely with regular buckshot or steel going back with steel loads, but they work great going back with your buckshot loads. Okay. If not, you, uh, you just rather buy them from somebody, Mr. Bill Cowas. He's got some more in stock. Put his email right here. Get up with him and tell him that Wade Rush Bubble Round Tree Outdoors sent you and he will hook you up with a deal as long as he's got stock. Okay, folks? That's where this load is going to start. Right here. These came from Mr. Calwas right here. Remington Express, 3-inch. Remington hull, great hull. And the kind of loads we're doing here, you may get three, four, five shots out of one hull. Now, we... Uh, some of you guys were able to get your hands on some Winchester primers. Some of you were able to get your hands on some Shittite primers. You can use either one in this load. Work equally well. I've used both of them in this load. And we get equal performance. Can't tell which one is which. Okay? So, um, 14 pellets of 32 cal. Single alt. It's real close to a double alt. Now, a, lot of, uh, a lot of companies, Hornady. Um, let's see who else. Hornady and Remington. I think their their double their double alt is 32 cal to 32 five. It's right in that general vicinity. 14 pellets of 32 cal weighs 1.55 ounces. That's what we're setting this up for. With 1.55 ounces, or right around one and a half ounces, 28 and a half grains of long shot is our sweet spot. Ask Mr. Roger Adkins. He's been he's been shooting these loads that uh some of the loads that I started developing a while back and a lot of these loads he was working on before I really got serious about working on some of these combinations. And uh, anyway, check out his channel. He's got some really, really good stuff going on over there and he's getting back after it now. All right, love you, buddy. Okay, now, Remington Express 3-inch, once fired, we're going to go back with a Shadite. You can use Winchester. You can use uh, Fiocchi 616 if you've got them. All right. Shadite Primer will just about work in everything except your big Nobel Sport and stuff like that. I think uh, Nobel Sport are about the biggest primers out there. I think it's either Nobel Sport or Rio that's uh, bigger. The one of the, they're two of the biggest. Uh, Slightly bigger diameter than all of the U.S. hulls. You'll notice that. They don't fit. Uh, you uh, try to put U.S. primers in European hulls, Euro-Spanish hulls, and uh, they don't want to fit really well. They fit real loose or fall out. That's why. Because your Euro hulls are just a little bit bigger in the primer pocket. And your Euro primers will fit any hull. See, they're going to fit really tight in the American hulls but they fit great, especially the Shaddite. All right, let's, uh, let's get the Hornady lock and load set up to throw 28 and a half grains. All righty, folks. You're looking at a man that has been after it like a wild man. The one the doctor released me on January 3rd, I almost went plumb crazy. I've, uh, I felt like a new man, been able to do some stuff. 
and I was so out of shape from not being able to get around at all since the end of September 1st of October when I went down with the bad infection in my right foot that uh, once we found the source then I uh, went to uh, went to the special folks over it to me medical complex and the wound center is located in the Toomey Medical Complex in Sumter and the folks there that worked on me were absolute angels on earth they were Dr. Mark Crabb, Lisa, Cheryl, I know I'm forgetting a bunch of you but uh, these guys were literally angels on earth they did a surgery on my right foot got that infection cut out and all that stuff I come to find out I still had a piece of bone in my foot from an injury from a couple of years ago anyway we don't have time to go into all that they got me fixed up in record time and was released on January 3rd I feel like a brand new man love you folks over there at the wound center did an outstanding job there they specialize in taking care of diabetics and diabetics with uh, with wounds that really don't want to heal up and stuff like that but I haven't had that problem uh, I seem to heal up back pretty quick with stuff like that and thanks to them, I healed back in record time. All right, and it's because of these guys that I'm able to get back after it now. Let's get the lock and load set up to throw 28 and a half grains a long shot. All right, she's all warmed up. Two, eight, five to get past our decimal right here. Enter. It's ready to go. Now our speed is set on normal. Whenever we just crank up our machine, we want that on slow. So, we're going to have to hit it twice. Went over to fast, hit speed again, slow, and dispense. All right. First wad we're going to be talking about and using is the Ballistic Products TPS White Lightning. It is an outstanding wad that is absolutely tough as cobs. It's one of their toughest. These right here, they're the white wads, and I bought the, I don't know what, what it was, the thousand, the two, three thousand case of the uncut wads, and thanks to Mr. Gary Kasky, I have a cutter now to cut these wads. Yes, I have the gipe cutter as well four pedal cutter works really good that thing's 60 something dollars you pay shipping you're gonna pay 70 80 bucks for it Gary is not near so expensive and his stuff works like a dream TPS white lightning tough as cobs and boy do they know how to throw a buckshot pattern all right, we're all set up. We got 28 and a half grains here ready to go. All righty. Now, when we install this wad, I use a 20 gauge overshot card. I got I got them laying everywhere around here. This This is just a standard. You can use an 8 inch nitro card. I just use a standard 20 gauge overshot card. We we want to make this bottom of this wad flat because it's uh, it's dipped. Tungsten propulsion system. Yes, that's what TPS stands for. Tungsten propulsion system. We put that card down there to make it flat. Now. 14 pellets of that beautiful 32 cal that we just got polished up. Hopefully you've already seen the video. If you hadn't, I'm going to put it right there. Right here, somewhere. It'll be up here, somewhere. Alrighty. By twos, you just drop them in here and they will find their way. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They find their way.
Ballistic Products Original you can use 47. It works equally well in my testing and experience. Just cover it. Try to. So y'all ain't hearing that stuff that make you grind your teeth. Over here to the size master. Set up to load three inch. Crimp's a little ugly, but it happens sometimes. But it's it'll function just fine. You know what? I know why. From my last session, that's what it looks like if you forget and leave the eight point in there. Sometimes, sometimes it'll work right. Sometimes it'll look funky, like this right here. Sealed up, it's crimped. It'll fire just fine. You wouldn't notice anything else about it. I need to get the right spindex starter in here. Alrighty, there's the number six. Now, we won't have any more trouble. I'm going to make sure I get some Miracle Nail put on this right here. Just in case these folds aren't really touching in the middle like they should, this will keep any buffer from seeping out. We'll take this one down to the range and test fire it for you guys. Anyway, that is load number one that you get the holes from Mr. Bill Kalwas if he's got them. You can also get them out of the duck blinds for all the guys that are shooting at the ducks. All right, I'm going to label that. We're going to come back and put together one in a new Shadite primed hole from Ballistic Products. Y'all stand by. Brand new primed Shadite from Ballistic Products when they have them. Yes, 28 and a half grains of long shot. We're going to roll crimp this one. Now, for you guys that are worried about the roll crimped around being a little bit too long, we're going to use the same white lightning wide because it's such a great performer in this load. Let me show you what you need to do. I take my clippers. I got some medic shears. I got some snips from ballistic products, just whatever I happen to pick up at the time. You want to take these wads and you want to cut about an eighth of an inch off the top of the wad. Once you cut the first one, you've got pretty much a guide to work your way all the way around it. Just like that. We cut about an eighth of an inch off of it. Alrighty, we've already powdered 28 and a half grains of long shot in our new 3 inch shittite. We're going to need to get another 20 gauge nitro card, overshot card, whatever you got, as long as it's eighth inch or thinner. You'll be just fine. I just got a 20 gauge overshot card. Same principle. 14 pellets, 32 caliber. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And they they just find their way. They look a little uneven. That's what I do just bounce it and they'll fall right into place covering ballistic products original just a buffer in the blue can 47 works equally well for us how much am I putting in here I don't know I just covered the pellets this is a 4.0 dipper here and it wasn't quite full. Clear segmented overshot card. I've 
got the I got the ballistic products double roll crimper on here because that's just what I've had in there. We'll hit it with a little bit of petroleum jelly just to make sure it's lubed up. that is a beautiful round. This is the one year before last. I didn't get to go on but one hunt this past year because of all this infection that was in my system. Alrighty. Y'all are going to be impressed when you see how these perform. But like I started telling you uh, year before last, this is the round that I had in the barrel whenever I shot that, that old big doe. She was 65, 70 yards from me. Uh, and uh, put seven of these 32 caliber through her boiler room. I only had one shot, and when you only got one, you try to take a great for uh, one shot that you've got. She didn't go 50 yards. This is field tested. Half the boys over at the club are shooting this round right here. It is a good one. All right. We'll, uh, not exactly sure. I don't have any paperwork in front of me, so I need to. There's a, a two and three quarter inch round that we're going to put together as well for you guys that like to load two and three quarter inch. Stand by. Alrighty, folks. Now, I've got some once fired federal premium, once fired federal field, and some of the holes that I shot down at the last session at a range. Okay, this is a once fired, twice fired now, federal buckshot hole. Still got my notes on it. Went back with a Shaddite primer. Now a twice fired federal premium federal buckshot hole. Precision reloading RW-12. This might be like a TRW-12, but I'm shortening it down to the RW-12. It's the white wide. It's two and three quarter inch. The red wide, which is also a outstanding wide. So is the RW-12. It's just for the two and three quarter inch. The white one is for the two and three quarter inch. Red for the three inch. We're loading two and three quarter inch. Need the white ones. And... We're also going to need a 20 gauge overshot card or a 20 gauge nitro card, 20 some 20 gauge card, eighth of an inch or thinner, to make the bottom of this wide flat. In the two and three quarter inch Federal Premium, we can get 12 pellets of 32 caliber single load in here. This would make this a two and three quarter inch mag is what this would make. Federal has got a little bit more room. Federal premium has got a little bit more room. If you're using a federal field hole, you probably won't be able to get but 10 pellets in here and get it to crimp right. But in the federal premium holes, plastic base wide, you've got more room in here. Especially in the ones when you're shooting the or the once fired buckshot or pheasant holes that, that federal makes. You got more room in here. All right, 12 pellets of 32 cal, and we're going to cover it with Ballistic Products Original, because that's what I have. If I had 47, I'd cover it with 47. Now I need to get, need to get the bushing in here from this brass bushing from Precision. You can get different size bushings. It makes the this press that I've got set up for 3 inch will crimp 2 and quarter inch. That sure helps me out a lot with different kinds, with all different kinds of headaches.
12 pellet, two and three quarter inch mag, federal premium all, using the RW12 from Precision. All right. Yeah. Okay, you want to roll crimp a two and three quarter inch round? Here's a Rio value hole. Shit eye works just as well. Fiocchi works just as well. I've already fired this one once, reconditioned it. We're going to be able to shoot it again. I just happened to have some Rio primers. Like I said, Rio's pretty big, so I went back with a Rio primer. Just happened to have it. Nobel Sport, I believe, would also work in here. Usually the Shaddai and the Fiocchi primers will work going back into these hulls. The, uh, you can reswage these things. There's a video out by a fellow YouTuber of mine did a great job explaining how to reswage these hulls. I'm going to put a link to that video right up here. There's a card. You can go watch how to reswage it. Make them take any primer that you want them to take. Okay? That's some good information to have. All right. Yes, let's, let's roll current one. 28 and a half a long shot. I have shot these loads all the way down with 27 grains of long shot. They work good. For you guys that are trying to conserve powder as we all are. RW12. White wide from Precision. Twenty gauge over shot card, or nitro card, or fiber wide broke down to eighth of an inch. A twenty gauge something in there to make the bottom flat. Twelve pellets, thirty-two cal, right to the top of the wide. Cover an original buffer. Like I said, forty-seven works equally well. Original just happens to be what I have. Just cover them. All right. And if you don't have the clear overshot, you happen to have the bingo cards. And you're worried about sometimes these things may crack on you whenever you have to put them. Um, I, Robbie Joyner had noticed that the rounds with the single bingo uh, overshot cards on them. I grabbed a, this isn't rehearsed. I just come in here and bring y'all along with me. That whenever you put them in an extended tube, all that pressure up in that extended magazine will crack a single overshot card and the bingo overshot card. I just, I put them in a big old, I get them by the bag, bunches of them because I just use bunches and bunches of these things. A single clear segmented overshot card and two bingo cards are the identical same width. Hope y'all can see that. Okay. So several of my buds over on Buck and Slug said, Wade, we have been uh, we've been using two bingo cards with great performance. It works just fine. So, we're going to go back with two bingo cards to make it twice as strong and see if we can prevent these things from uh, cracking. If this is what you've got to use, we, we need it to work, right? 
and you guys have using these rounds for self-defense home defense and stuff like that and you've got extended tubes on your uh, on your home defense shotgun then you don't need anything breaking on you like that yeah I already rolled cramp this one one time and it rolled up again All right, I have to make different notes on this one. And, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how this one performs as compared to the Federal. Let's find out. Well, I appreciate you guys riding along with me and taking a look at some of our best 32 cal performers that have been field tested for years. Um, MG42 wide works great in these loads, guys. Just like I loaded them here, works the same. MG42. The only difference is in the two and three quarter inch, you're probably only going to be able to get uh, 10 pellets in the MG42. The uh, standard TPS two and three quarter inch work well in these loads, right along just like the RW12 work in the two and three quarter inch. Alrighty, you need some Remington holes, get a hold of Mr. Calwas right here while he's got them in stock. He'll get you hooked up. Give him plenty of time. He will get back with you. I'm sure he is backed up to the max right now with orders, folks. Appreciate you riding along with me. We'll see y'all on the next one.